Okay, so uh, last video we talk about like uh, what is record level security, right? And this video we're gonna talk about what is object level security, admin level security, and field level security, right? So uh, before we talk object, admin, and field level security, we're gonna talk about a two small topic, right? Uh, user management. Okay, we're gonna learn something in the user management, right? So let's go. Let's just go ahead and um explore the user management thing first and then we'll talk about the object admin and field level security what is user management here is the story first right see uh when you get a project when you would be doing a project suppose all right you would be working as an admin right and your customer is suppose some uh, some uh, you know automobile company they are their customer the automobile company they have uh, so many sales executive uh, and they want to use Salesforce, the internal CRM. And you are the person, you are the engineer who is actually developing that CRM for them. Okay. Now, uh, once you are done with the development, let's say, you know, you created so many objects, you created so many automation, which we have no, uh, not learned yet. So you have done so many automation and uh, everything you're done, right? What next? Your application is going to be used by the internal users. So you as an admin, First, have to onboard each and every single user inside the CRM, right? What do you mean by onboard? Let me show you this. So if you see this user page, right? This is the all users page. So you as an admin will go here and you will see all the existing, all the already created users here, right? So admin will go and uh, onboard each and every uh, single uh, business executive as a user inside the org what is the reason the reason is see if you suppose i am the admin and you are the business executive if you want to log in inside the org what do you need you need the user id and password and uh, all you need to do is you have to go to this login.salesforce.com give your username and password and then you'll be able to log in right so how do you do this right how you as a business user will be able to go to this login.salesforce.com and will be able to provide your username and password and login for that the admin has to onboard you as a user inside the system right so if i am an admin and suppose your name is alex correct so i'll go here in the new user and uh, give your name here alex and give your last name and give your email address and then save I have to fill in all the necessary details over here and save. The moment I click on save, this particular Alex's email address will receive the password reset email. We have to reset the password. And once Alex reset the password with this username and with the resetted password, Alex can log in inside the same org and can see all the data. Right? So this is called user management. So you as an admin will sometimes get a you know Excel file will load it with the existing or um, business user data. And all you need to do is you have to load those, uh, you know, users inside the user object one by one. Definitely, if you have like thousands of user, you'll not be doing it one by one. We have a data loader, which will help us to import all the data in the user object at a time. But as a as of now, let's say uh, you as you as an admin, um, you're actually creating the Alexis data one by one, like manually. Cool. So this is pretty easy how to onboard a user. But here, two things that you have to know. One, whenever you onboard a user as a system admin, you have to know if there is any role defined, right? What is the role of Alex, right? See, a role is something that is optional, okay? A role is or will not be mandatory for every single business. It is not necessary that every business should have a role hierarchy. But if it is there, then you have to assign the role hierarchy to Alex. Okay, this is a question again you get in the certification. Is role mandatory when you create um, a user? No. If you see here, there's an option called none specified. So you as an admin can specify none specified here as a role. If in case if you don't have a role uh, hierarchy set up, right? So uh, after you set up the role hierarchy, you have to select the license. This is where you have to know a little bit about what is license. See, as a as a business analyst or as a admin, um, ideally this is not your part to tech uh, to to uh, to handle. 
um now this is something that has been handled by the sales users right so unless you are the sales user you don't have to know uh what is the license all about but technically uh, uh, let me give you some little bit of idea about license see salesforce is a product okay salesforce is a SaaS product we discussed earlier software as a service and who is your customer the customer is the automobile company now the automobile company is using the salesforce platform the salesforce entire product right so that's as product what do you think how salesforce is going to charge that company salesforce has to make money right how salesforce is going to charge um, the automobile customer based on the number of license remember every single user that you onboard as an admin inside the system should have a license assigned and for every single license the customer has to pay for it got it so if customer has like you know 700 license uh sorry 700 users then the the business first have to buy 700 license all right then only the admin like you are the admin can onboard all the 700 users inside the crm one by one if you don't buy this this if you don't have the licenses available how can you uh, onboard the user because every single active user you know this is active option every single active user required a license and guess what the customer the automobile customer has to buy the licenses for the entire year right so we have different types of licenses available here and different license comes with different cost i'm gonna give you the explanation of few of these licenses that you might work on in your project so you should know about it See, first license is Salesforce license. I don't have the Salesforce license available here because I am using a free developer org. And in the free developer org, I had only two Salesforce license available, which I have already used. I created a user called testing user. I have lost one license and I myself have a, a Salesforce license. So there also one license gone. So I had two license in the free developer org, which uh, two of them has already been used. How do you know how many licenses are available and how many licenses are still left? Right. So if you go here in something called company information, right? If you search with company information, this is the company information, like the name of the uh, company, what is the you know company ID and everything. And if you see here, uh, this is the user licenses. See, I had two salesforce license i told you right two licenses were available in this free developer org and out of these two licenses i have used two licenses right so zero licenses are remaining salesforce license that's why that's the reason why when i went to the drop down i was not able to see the salesforce license in the list because um, all the available license were used you know what in the uh, actual customer org right this is a free org so in the actual customer org this is the free developer edition you see here yeah yeah so in the actual customer org you'll see a button called um, like buy licenses right so if you was an admin if you want to buy license definitely you can buy a license and then you can onboard the user so every single active users to be available inside the salesforce org needs to have a license and that's when customer has to pay for it okay so there are different types of license that you will get to see in your project more often you will see a license called salesforce see salesforce is the costliest license you see all the license here right i told you every license comes with different cost salesforce is the costliest license i cannot tell you the cost now because the cost um, differ from country to country time to time uh, you can google if you want to see the cost right now but salesforce actually comes with the highest cost and if you assign the salesforce license to any of the user that user will have access to everything what do you mean by everything everything means all the standard and uh, custom thing that you develop everything will be accessed by the user if you give somebody the salesforce user uh, salesforce license okay there's another license called uh, uh, platform like salesforce platform license this is something comes with less cost and uh, you know what uh, we will be uh, leveraging the developer console the development part right and where we will see how to write a code and you know extend the standard feature there we'll find 
uh, if somebody has the Salesforce like a platform license assigned, then that user will have very minimum access to the org, right? Uh, you can go and check it out in the Google, right? What is the access level um, that a user will have if someone has the platform license? They will have like very minimum access. They cannot access all the lead account contact opportunity. They cannot create, edit, delete all the standard features. Uh, most of it, they will not have access if they have a platform. But anything that you build in the platform, right? In anything you customize and do code, that will be accessed by the platform users, right? No standard stuff or few standard stuff and a lot of custom thing. There also you have a limitation. Like if you go with the platform license, you cannot have like more than 10 custom objects accessed and or, or that, that kind of limit you'll have. So either you might be working with a Salesforce license or let's say the platform license. Both these license comes with different cost and different feature, right? So this is pretty much about license. Now, if I go back to the same user management page, so in this page, uh, you see the same user that we are creating name Alex and uh, you have to select the license that you want to assign. I can't see the Salesforce license. You know the reason. Let's say I'm selecting platform license and then you have to select something called profile. Okay. Once you select the profile role um, license, all these details, if, if you field, click on save, then the user will receive the uh, password reset link and then the user will be able to log in with this username and the reset it password. Uh, now, after that, we have to learn this profile thing, right? So the profile is what determines the object level security, the admin level security and the field level security. So, okay. So this was the user management part. Uh, in the next video, we will be talking about the uh, profile and the this three level of security. See you in the next video.